There's a book I read that says, though there are sorrows in the night, the joy comes in the morning. But how much harder do I need to fight for the joy? One moment I'm finally there, and then without a second glance, my mind is filled with fear. Oh, this battle with my insides, I thought I'd already won. I look at pictures of myself and can see me slowly becoming undone. But maybe that's where we need to be. Maybe that's where I need to be, undone so our influences can see the pieces that he's going to bring back together. I might not recognize who I am, but I know whose I am. But can't someone just remind me how I long for this divine intervention, for the skies to open up and our father to mention my name, to tell me he's proud to call me his, to tell me that I am where and who he's called me to be. I cry out, I reach out, and he listens, sometimes speaks. I sing out my thankfulness, and that's where, that's where I lose my weaknesses. This thankful heart has been given so much more than it deserves. Redemption, restoration, freedom from all things of this earth that have been chaining me down. And after all that I've done, that I've said, that I've seen, this loving father kept his gaze on me. There's a book I read that says, though there are sorrows in the night, the joy comes in the morning. But how much harder do I need to fight for that joy? As hard as my father has fought for me, beaten and hung on a cross at Calvary, my joy is rooted in someone, something more concrete. My flesh and my heart may fail, but God is the strength of my heart and my portion forever, and in him I am complete.